No feast in captivity. No feasts of any kind in captivity. We give you the scriptures right quick because we know that this is the evening when the Day of Atonement starts from the evening of the 22nd to the evening of the 23rd or as scriptures say from evening unto evening this is that Shabbat that I was talking about before in previous videos a while back when people was trying to tell everybody you're supposed to keep the Shabbat from the from one evening to the next that's only for the Day of Atonement that's uh, that's when that is for so right into the scriptures Leviticus chapter 23 uh, starting at verse 26 and Yah spake unto Moshe saying also on the tenth day of this seventh moon there shall be a day of atonement it shall be a holy convocation unto you and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto Yah so Another thing you want to look at too, if you're not giving that offering by fire, you're not doing it right. That that's that's one thing you want to look at too. We got to have a priest. We got to have an offering that we bring to the priest. He has to burn it on the altar, okay, by fire. Okay, this is what we are supposed to do on the day of atonement. And that is what they did our forefathers or ancestors did back then when they were in the land right now we are currently in the land of our captivity okay on this tenth day of the seventh moon so when you read scripture and you see these different feasts these are to be done in the place which he shall choose and he did not choose America to do these uh, feasts in uh, when you read verses like uh, verse 10, this is, uh, we're still in Leviticus chapter 23, verse 10. Speak unto the children of Yashorah and say unto them, When ye be come into the land which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. So on these feasts, well, they be the Day of Atonement, uh, uh, the uh, Feast of Tabernacles, uh, the, the Feast of Ingathering. The, the food for these feasts has to be food that was grown in the Holy Land because that's what we're supposed to eat during those feasts before the Most High. So, <clears throat> this is uh, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. I'll just give you the scriptures that uh, show that it's in the place which he shall choose. That's in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 5 and 6. I'll turn there right quick. Deuteronomy 16, 5 and 6. Thou mayest not sacrifice the Passover within any of thy gates, which Yah thy power hath given thee but at the place which Yah thy power shall choose to place his name in there thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at even at the going down of the sun at the season that thou camest forth out of Egypt so when it comes to the Passover you are only supposed to keep the Passover over there in the Holy Land not here in America I'm not supposed to do it because I know we got certain leaders or certain groups. They got the, the people that's, that's following them, uh, keeping the Passover. And they talking about, you know, we keeping the Passover. What you doing? I'm, I'm not keeping the Passover while I'm here still in prison in the land of my captivity. Still serving my sentence for what I did and my forefathers did. Okay. He said he would punish us unto the third and fourth generation. Okay. So he didn't say we was going to be keeping these feasts in the land of our captivity. But uh, moving right along, verse 
10. We're still in Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 10. And thou shalt keep the feast of weeks unto Yah thy power with a tri tribute of a free will offering of thine hand, which thou shalt give unto Yah thy power, according to as Yah thy power hath blessed thee. Verse 11, and it says that we're going to rejoice that thy son, thy daughter, manservant, maidservant, the Levite that's within thy gates, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow that are among you in the place which Yah thy power hath chosen to place his name there, which was called, the, it was the land of Yashra, uh, or the land of Yahuda, because the Yahoos were actually named after the Most High Yah, you know, Yah, Yahu. So where they lived, that's where the temple was, uh, uh, the, in the city of Dawit. Okay? And you got uh, in verse 13 the Feast of Tabernacles. Okay? After you've gathered in the corn and the wine, and then verse 15, and, and, and there it is again, seven days shalt thou keep a solemn feast unto Yah thy power in the place which Yah shall choose. He did not choose America to do these feasts. Uh, verse 16, three times in a year shall all thy males appear before Yah thy power in the place which he shall choose. In the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and in the Feast of Weeks, and in the Feast of Tabernacles, and they shall not appear before Yah empty. Okay, so when it comes to the Day of Atonement, same thing. You see the pattern. You see that everything is done in the land. So don't think that the Day of Atonement is going to be any different. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a scripture that's going to further prove that. But yeah, uh, verse verse eleven it shows that it's in the place which Yah have chosen. Uh, what was that? Verse fifteen, verse sixteen. I mean, it's, it's what He chose. So now I'm gonna go to Deuteronomy chapter twelve, verse thirteen. I'm gonna start there. It says, "Take heed to thyself that thou offer not." thy burnt offerings in every place that thou seest but in the place which Yah shall choose in one of thy tribes of course that was the tribe of Yahuda there shalt thou offer thy burnt offerings and there shalt thou do that all that I command thee there it is all including including the day of atonement all that I command thee you're supposed to do it over there not in America alright uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that pre that's, that pretty much sums it up right there. But uh, I'm going to go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22. It says, Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed that the field bringeth forth year by year. And thou shalt eat before Yah thy power in the place which he shall choose to place his name there. Uh, verse 25. Thou, thou shalt... Turn it into money, bind up the money in thine hand, and shall go unto the place which Yah thy power shall choose. So, I mean, it clearly is clearly telling us where we're supposed to do all of these things, including the Day of Atonement. So, those of you that's out there trying to go on, you're going to go on the fast, you know, because it's the Day of Atonement. You're going to prepare this special meal, and you're going to try to burn some sacrifice in your backyard or you're going to go to some guy who claim he your priest or pastor or elder or whatever uh, you, you're in the wrong you're in the wrong okay scripture clearly tell us not to do that so yes it is okay to keep up with when the day of atonement is and when all of our feasts are it's good to get back to that but not to keep it here in the land of our captivity so that's pretty much what I want to share on this video. So, yeah, Day of Atonement started, but it's good to know when it is. And that's pretty much about it. I mean, you can pray to the Most High Yah, let Him know that you want to keep it, but that's pretty much it. So, this is the Young One. I'm out. Hope y'all enjoyed the video.